How's it going, everybody? Uh, this is Andrew Beck. Uh, I've got something a little special for you guys today. Um, it's not a typical unboxing, but I really wanted to do a review of one of the watches that I just got in. Before I start that, though, I'll we'll do a quick wrist check, which will come in very uh, handy for this round of videos. Um, everybody's seen me wear this one before a lot. Uh, Reactor uh, watch, the two-tone gold and silver. Um, definitely my go-to watch for the weekends. Uh, this thing can take a beating and keep going. So the reason it's so important that I'm wearing this today, uh, in my mind anyway, is that uh, you know two of the watches that I just got in that you'll see in these next couple of videos are uh, direct purchases simply because I have this watch and I love this watch so much already. Um, again, that's I can deal with the glare. That's the watch I have uh, already. So this is this is what I purchased. I purchased another Reactor watch. Um, Reactor watches are said to be a, a sports watch, um, but these things are absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, this guy itself is a uh, gunmetal. Proton model 91608. Um, you can see here, I'll show you a little bit of the uh, um, close up images of this here in a second. But before I get too much into the watch, one thing I just want to point out that I really love about um, reactor watches is they're a little inventive when it comes to their box. It's not just a normal watch box. Um, they actually use what they call the Second Life Packaging. Um, so this is how the watch came, how it came shipped to me. Um, if you look inside, there's padding all inside here, rubber foot around the bottom. This watch case was actually built to be used in a Second Life as a koozie. So if you're out on the boat or, you know, uh, just sitting around the house and want to hold on to your beverage, it's a perfect solution for it. Um, this is like a, I'm going to call it an aluminum, um, brushed aluminum. But the cases are just really, really interesting on these. Um, so I'm, you know, that's one of the things that I'm a fan of. Um, if we look at the rest of this case for a second, in the bottom, this is where they store um, all of their warranty card and instructions and stuff. It's just a ma magnetic peel to remove. So you can see that's just one big magnet. And in here we have some extra links and then the special chronograph uh, instructions and warranty card. Um, or warranty, I should say. Um, this is a 12-hour chronograph. A um, little bit different than, than some of the others that I've gotten. This one actually has uh, a... Uh, let's see here. This has a 24-hour dial also right here. This is just a normal dial, uh, second dial, and then this guy over here counts the minutes during the chronograph. So if I start the chronograph up, you can see the big second hand start moving. I'll go ahead and reset it. Sets everything back. Um, the other neat thing about this watch, um, we won't talk about the build of it or anything yet, but um, the other neat thing about this watch is the dial is meant to uh, meant to allow you to tell the time in different time zones. So basically what you do is um, you line up the, the time you want to see with your hour hand um, and then uh, based on your local time and you can figure out what time it is in different parts of the country. So we're in New York right now. Line this up with New York. So it's, you know, realistically, is that something I'll ever use? Probably not, um, but it's definitely cool to have. i uh, show you a little bit more. The backs on these, these are Japanese quartz movement, um, so they're not automatics, which is a little bit different than what I normally go for. But the build of these watches is absolutely amazing. 
um, it's forged case back and it's it's pretty pretty solid all of this is um, I want to say 3 16 steel stainless steel um, screw down crown on this guy so that'll give us um, basically 20 meters water resistance or I believe that's like 660 feet something like that I could be wrong um, the case size on this guy is 45 millimeter um, which is a perfect size um, in my opinion for for my hand you can kind of see see the difference um, the other thing that's kind of draws me to these watches is the weight and the build of them um, these are just heavy 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 watches and for me I love wearing a heavy watch it gives me the chance to a know it's there that I haven't lost it that the case hasn't or the strap hasn't broken off speaking of which one of the interesting things about these um, straps that reactor does which is uh, some of the other watch companies do it too but I just think it's interesting how they do it um, these guys they use a solid threaded screw bar to attach the case to the band you can see right here um, it's a screw bar that actually goes all the way through the watch um, so they say that gives you anywhere from a 500% to 800% strength increase over just a normal spring bar so it's not something that's going to fall apart on you or give you um, give you a hard time um, the clasp on this guy is also triple locking so one lock and then in order to get it out you gotta pinch it on the sides um, I just I love these watches all the way around and yes I know before everybody gives me a hard time this is an older model um, but I'm perfectly okay with that because I the age of the watch really doesn't matter to me it's just the fit and finish and and how much I like it um, see if there's anything else I can think of to tell you guys about this guy um, they do use super luminova on the indices uh, which I'll show you some pictures here shortly of the watch glowing all lit up um, all around just a absolutely absolutely fan of this watch So I'll just throw back on here. This mini display case is, is pretty nice also. Um, and then again the Second Life packaging. Uh, but that's that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys for checking out this video. Like I said, I'll post some still photos here now of both the, the loom as well as uh, close-ups of the watch face and the watch itself. Uh, and then maybe I'll check back in here in a couple of months and see if I've uh, kept this watch, traded it off, or what I've actually done with it. Got a really good deal on it, um, so I think I'll probably hold on to it for a while. But nevertheless, thank you all. Have a great week.